Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be shedding light on the effective strategies for becoming successful on YouTube. What do they entail? What do they encompass, you may ask? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. It can be a travailing undertaking to be profoundly successful on YouTube as an entrepreneurial content creator. It can be ineffably cumbersome to attain unalloyed, profound, unprecedented success on YouTube as a content creator. It is pivotal, it is paramount, it is incumbent, it is of eminent importance that you take anodyne, prudent measures to optimize your chances to become profoundly successful on YouTube as a content creator. So what are some of the effective strategies that are conducive to becoming successful on YouTube? Well, first and foremost, one strategy for becoming successful on YouTube entails automating as many marketing activities as possible. For instance, you can leverage IFTTT, also known as IFT, in order to create recipes so that your content is automatically disseminated across a multitude of social media platforms simultaneously, post being uploaded to your YouTube channel. You want your YouTube channel content to be disseminated to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and other social media platforms in order to extend your reach. You do not want to limit your viewership to only being derived from YouTube. You want to be able to leverage your social media followings across a multitude of social media platforms so that you can migrate your followings from other platforms over to your YouTube channel. And it's highly efficacious to automate as many marketing activities as possible by utilizing IFTTT to create recipes to automate the dissemination of your content to social media platforms, which within itself would otherwise be a highly time-draining endeavor. You do not want to vector away your time. You do not want to divert your time away from profusely producing content. You do not want to vector away your time from your content creation efforts. So take heed of automating as many marketing activities as possible. It can be a potent strategy for becoming successful on YouTube and can liberate more time in your busy, hectic schedule so that you could hone in on content creation efforts and spend less time on marketing your content. Another strategy for becoming successful on YouTube entails producing VAR-worthy, algorithm recommendation-worthy, share-worthy, like-worthy, engagement-worthy content that is apt to yield high engagement rates, high watch times, high viewership rates, and high audience retention rates. You want your content to be all the more poised to build traction and transcend into becoming viral content. You do not want to shirk on doing so. You want your content to be indelible, extraordinary, rememberable, captivating, enthralling, compelling. Your content can also be comedic to render it all the more amusing, all the more entertaining. So do everything in your purview to produce viral worthy content on a daily basis. What is another strategy for becoming successful on YouTube? Well, it entails enlisting brand, adv enlisting brand advocates to profusely market your content. You want your brand advocates to market your content to their networks, their family members, and their friends. So. In each and every video, you can encourage your brand advocates. You can remind them to share your videos, to share your content, to disseminate 
your content so that you can further increase the reach of your content. People trust brand advocates. They trust the positive word of mouth from brand advocates. They're all the more innately inclined to take heed of any recommendations that brand advocates provide their networks, friends, and family members than to watch your content based on solicitations from you. Do not solicit their viewership. Your brand advocates can be dispatched to market your content. They are the quintessential marketers because they are deemed to be trustworthy marketers, especially since their networks, friends, and family members have established rapport with these brand advocates, have meaningful relationships with them, and trust them. On the other hand, if you were just to solicit random people to watch your content, they do not know who you are, and they may not deem you to be reputable because they do not have an established relationship with you. Do brand advocates act as proxy agents or content creators? Well, they potentially can, especially if they aid content creators with marketing their content. Brand advocates organically market your content for free to their friends, family members, and networks, people who you do not know and who do not know you. And their word of mouth marketing is far more potent than your intrusive advertisements or your marketing campaigns. So capitalize on leveraging your brand advocates to profusely market your content. It can redound to your advantage, especially if you're trying to cultivate a behemoth of a brand on YouTube. What is another strategy for becoming successful on YouTube beyond the aforementioned strategies? Well, in order to become all the more apt, all the more poised to become successful on, you sh on YouTube, you should embrace collaboration efforts. When you co-create content with other people, you're creating a more robust, transformative work. And you're able to further extend your reach, especially if your video is uploaded across a multitude of channels of popular, iconic, renowned, illustrious content creators. It could provide cross-marketing and allow the followings, the subscriber bases of these other content creators to be inclined to migrate over to your channel they watch the video that you are featured in and they think that you offer unprecedented value and merit to your target market as a content creator. So it essentially provides you with all the more publicity, all the more exposure, and further increases your reach. You want to be able to maximize your reach. And another strategy conducive to becoming successful on YouTube entails to Maximize your monetization options. You'll need to shirk on leaving money on the table, metaphorically speaking, and maximize your monetization options so that you have more money to reinvest into content creation efforts. You could generate advertising revenue, channel membership revenue, affiliate marketing revenue, sponsorship revenue, product placement revenue, Royalties from custom-made, print-on-demand merchandise sales. Recurring donation revenue from patron pledges via Patreon. And of course you could donate, and of course you could generate additional donation revenue from Super Chat donations. You want to be able to maximize your 
monetization options and monetize your content in a multitude of disparate ways so that you have more revenue, more capital to be able to reinvest into your content creation efforts. You need to be able to buy the latest products if you're trying to become a world-renowned product reviewer as a content creator on YouTube. You need to be able to buy the latest video games if you're trying to become a world-renowned less player on YouTube. So if you maximize your monetization options, you're all the more resilient. You could better mitigate against adverse revenue fluctuations, and it's easier to stay afloat, and you're more apt to become successful on YouTube. Especially if you have more revenue coming in that you can reinvest into future content creation efforts. So I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.